Hey, what's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope your day is going well and I found you in good spirits. My name is Kieran Tross and I am continuing the Azure Key Vault series. So if you haven't, uh, if this is the first video that you're seeing that popped up in your uh, search. Uh, there are other videos, uh, two other videos that if you wanted to learn about Azure Key Vaults, not sure exactly where you are in your journey, but the first video was more about introduction into Azure Key Vaults. Uh, second video was about policies around Azure Key Vaults and then doing a uh, rotation on keys. Today's video is going to be on backups. So one of the reasons why you want to do backups, um, and I have three up there, but there could be many others depending on uh, your organization and your needs. But these three are really uh, can apply to everyone. So the first one is saving on cost, right? So you want to save on cost and you want to do backups in different uh, in different regions or different areas. And it's really dependent on your organization. So let's say you have a key vault in West US and then you have uh, an application that you're utilizing and you have people trying to utilize that from another region. Those transactions can cost you a lot of money. So there for this reason why you would say, OK, let me have my key vault in West US. Plus, I'm going to do a key vault in East US, plus a key vault in UK South or whatever other region you will need to do it. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about the uh, ability to do certain things in other regions and doing your backups. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you want to have uh, key vaults in different areas because you're like, hey, you know, those transaction costs are going to cost is going to cost me a lot of money, right? So it can get really costly with your transactions. Next, you will say, okay, well, for us, right, our organization, we have legal and compliance requirements. We're only allowed to do business within the United States. So for that reason, you're like, okay, I need to do uh, backups and I need to have more than one backup within the uh, specific region that I'm in. Then also performance, right? So if you have one uh, key vault and you have applications requesting for the keys or you have applications requesting for the secret, you know, that can uh, definitely uh, cause uh, a little uh, slowness within your weather uh, process that you're performing. If you have multiple um, uh, resources trying to interact with that specific key vault. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to cover today. Um, so in today's video, what I'm going to do is I want to show you how to download uh, backups from Azure portal. Uh, we're also going to talk about uploading the backup from uh, one key vault, key vault to another key vault. Um, and then finally, we're going to talk about uploading a backup to a key vault in another region. So the question mark is there and you'll understand a little bit later on in the video why I have those question marks there when I get into a little bit more of explanation. Okay, back at the Azure portal. Um, what I want to do is I want to kind of little talk about the three key vaults that we have here. So we have a, the first uh, Cloud Scholars key vault that was uh, provisioned. Uh, we all did that in the previous videos. And then we have a second key vault, which is called second key. And then we have another key vault, which is in the UK South. So one of the first thing I want to do is I want to come over here to Cloud Scholars keys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to secrets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these keys, like my secret, and I'm going to download uh, a copy of it. And then what I'll do is upload it to another key vault. Now, when it comes to downloading uh, a copy of whether it's your certificates and keys or um, uh, secrets, they all have a naming convention when you download them. So the file name format is uh, for secrets is the vault name and then it's a secret name, and then it's the date stamp and the secret backup. Then for keys, it's the same thing as a vault name, then it's the key name this time, but then it's the date stamp dot key backup, and the certificates follow the same kind of format. So I downloaded all those keys, right, or should I just say objects, and what you'll see is it's following the same format as we have here on our PowerPoint slide. So um, if I see Cloud Scholars, that's the key vault, and the vault name, sorry. And then we have the uh, the uh, backup name, which is app seek uh, to SQL. That's the key backup. And then it's followed by the timestamp and then the key backup and then so on and so forth for the rest of them. So now that I have this information, I have the backups from uh, that specific key vault. What I'm going to do is go to another key vault and I'm going to upload it. So I'm going to go to second key. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to uh, keys and I'm going to click this restore backup button right here. And what I need to do is I need to choose um, my uh, key backup. So I'm going to click on this one app to SQL two. And there you have it. It has been restored, right? This key has successfully been restored. So now I have that same key, not only in my cloud scholars, if I come here, app SQL two, I have it here as well. App two SQL, give me, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I have it here as well as my second key. And I could do the same thing for the others, right? So if I go to secrets, I can say, okay, restore backup. And there you have it. I have my my secret just populated right there. And if I come up here, I have the same secret within here as well. So um, you could do the same thing. It's the same process really for certificates and it's the same process. All of them are the same thing as long as just make sure that when you're doing your backups that you don't make a mistake. And you know sometimes you might be downloaded one and then you go to upload it. And instead of uploading it to keys, you upload it to secrets. So just, just be aware of that. So one of the last things we wanted to cover, which is upload a backup to a key vault in another region. So back over at the Azure portal, um, I have my UK self. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my UK self and I'm going to go to keys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and restore the backup. So here it is, the key, and I'm going to click OK. So. I'm getting an error message and guess what it says? It says uh, the provided key backup files my form cannot decrypt the backup file. So the reason why I'm getting this error message is because when you have your backups, right, and you want to back it up to another key, uh, the only way you'd be able to do that is if they're in the same subscription, which these are in the same subscription, but the second criteria is they need to be in the same region. So for that reason, you would not be able to do it. Now, I know some of you are probably saying, well, let's say if I still need it in another region, how do I go about doing that? You would literally have to uh, create um, that secret over from scratch in another region, or you can download it, right? So there is uh, two ways of getting backups. So you have your, um, so let's go over here to secrets. You have this button where it says, if I actually may have to click in it, it has this button here where it says download backup. So when you download the backup, you download it from, and it gets encrypted, right? But then there's another way of doing it. Instead of doing the download backup from here, you can do the download from Azure Cli, and that makes your document come down and you get it on your local machine and that has no encryption. So the difference between backup and download. So when you are doing the backups from the Azure portal, you are going to get it downloaded from an encrypted, um, with an encrypted file. Now, when you are doing the download object, that is you can download it with the Azure Cli. And what that does, it gives you an ability to download the same file, that secret, and it comes down as a plain text. Then you will be able to upload it in another region if you need to upload in another region. And this way you have the same information. So that is how you would go about um, completing that task. Now, when it comes to um, Azure Key Vaults, there is no way of doing the, uh, the backup center or backup recovery center uh, within Azure for a whole Azure Key Vault. You would literally have to download and um, do your backups for uh, your certificates, your keys, and your secrets. So just a FYI so that you know that. So this video is going to be a short one. Um, that is pretty much it when it comes to Azure Key Vault backups. Um, I hope this information I provided you uh, was definitely beneficial. Uh, we still have more uh, videos to cover within this Azure Key Vault series. So um, what I want to say is thank you for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, here at Cloud Scholars, you know what the goal is. It's to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.